hello internet this is lightwave today i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this simple 3d hot effect using adobe after effects so i didn't want to make i didn't want to make it com complex because i wanted you guys to understand the whole concept of how to make 3d hot effects so without wasting your time we're just going to get inside our new composition and proceed with this process As usual, I'm using the 1920 times 1080 resolution. You can use any one you want, that's not an obligation. So, we're going to use the ellipse tool. This is really going to be fast this time around. So, we're going to use the ellipse tool to create a, an ellipse circle. We're going to center that in the middle. Just like that and please you go to the add icon and select trim parts when you open your trim parts you reduce this we're going to animate this in the beginning you just go a little bit in front and you increase it back like to around 72 80 not totally back to 100 percent so i'm just going to tilt this a little bit in front and we easy ease f9 we press f9 to easy ease the keyframes so we tilt this we open the graph and tilt this just a little bit and you guys will notice that it will create a very nice animation not so um robotic it will create it like to be as it is easy easing it out so guys we're just going now to go to the transform ellipse and we're going to animate the rotation so you alt click on the keyframe then um, the expression box will appear and on the expression box you just have to type time star minus 25 or plus 25 so that it will, it will do a continuous rotation as you can see yeah so it will do this continuous rotation yeah so that's how you do with this and so right now we're going to duplicate it we scale this one a little bit up um, we're going to center it and also we're going to do also like some like a rotation and we will center it also so that it should not be like um circulating on the same aspect it's good when there's like some randomness in uh, um in the whole effect and so here i think we're already done we just activate the 3d We'll center this one a little bit backward or forward so it gives some dimension to the 3D. And we create a new camera layer, and as you can see now, that's it already doing some cool effects right there. So we're going to change the color of the first of the first layer to to make some differentiation so you guys don't get confused so we're going now to also animate the camera to make like some cool rotation so we put a keyframe at the beginning we just move a little bit in front and we add another keyframe yeah so it gives like a very yeah like a nice animation so as you can see and it turns that way yeah so that's the basic concept i'm going to add another keyframe but that's if you want so guys i'm just giving you people like the concept of creating hot effects this was just a really fast um fast video so you guys can just know the concept you can add more layers more more everything so i'm just going to add a glow right here to make it more stylistic more original increase the glow just a little bit increase the to a hundred so it gives it perfection so i'm going to create a new solid layer for the background as you guys know i always use the gradient ramp
you swap colors then you tilt it a little bit down and then you add a darker color i'm going to add the blue i told you guys last video i have a very limited color imagination so i always use the blue so that's it guys i just made this video so you guys can learn how to make the whole effect just give you guys like the idea so guys i think that's it so this was just the idea i hope you guys learned something from it happy new year in advance and see you guys next time